Hi everyone, welcome back to the Wellwood Homes Master Builder YouTube channel. My name is Trevor and this is Andrew Wellwood. He is the founder of Wellwood Homes Master Builder. And uh, today we're just gonna go into a little bit of the company history, um, how long it's been around and what they do, and just to give you better insight as to why you should choose Wellwood Homes Master Builder as your builder of choice. Um, so let's jump right in and ask you the first question here. Where is the business located? Where do you operate out of? Uh, we operate out of the Edmonton area. Okay, um, so you help uh, people in Edmonton and... Edmonton, Spruce Grove, Sherwood Park, St. Albert, Leduc, Beaumont, so, all around Morinville, everywhere. Excellent. Yeah. So basically anywhere in the Edmonton greater area, yes. you can go there and you can help yeah. build someone's uh, dream home or uh, revenue property. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Now. Tell us again, how did you get started in the building industry and what, what was the transition like going from a framer into a, a business owner and uh, you know, basically master builder? Uh, well, I got started in the industry young. Um, I was playing around with my dad's tools and loved it and just kept doing it and doing it and doing it until you know, eventually I got a job doing that. And I got into the uh, office side on a a frustrating November when it was it was minus 35 or something oh. and the guy I was working for um, had us working outside trying to haul tin up onto the roof of a shop in mm. a field and it was it was minus 30 something before the wind mm. I had the best the best gloves and toque and everything that I could find and within about 10 minutes of working outside I was frozen and we were going to be there for two weeks and I thought, you know what, I think it might be time for an office job. <laughs> <laughs> so I threw together uh, a resume um, and yeah, I got, uh, I got picked up by a home builder that uh, took a great chance in me and mm -hmm. I'll forever be grateful for them for teaching me, teaching me how it went. They took a great chance. I had no office experience, just mm -hmm. a framer and uh, you know, good knowledge in the, in the construction industry, but they brought me in, put me in estimating, moved me up to project management mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, gave me, uh, they gave me my shot and I'll uh, always be thankful for them. Awesome. So um, what was the, the big deciding factor for starting Wellwood Homes Master Builder? Uh, that's, that's my stubbornness. <laughs> that's seeing, <laughs> Seeing an area that uh, that they weren't going into that I really wanted to go into, um, they were uh, they flirted on the idea of doing customs and changes, but they were a, um, a spec builder, so they had their models and they liked to build their models. And I really wanted to do more more custom and more out on my own, and you know more more management with the with the client that involved changes and price changes and changes on the fly and yeah. that. Uh, that's not a that's not, for for a spec builder that likes to have everything down to the penny prior to construction. That really was not their way of doing things. Yeah, and you know, if a, a major builder out there, they they really want to manage all their costs and their time, and they know how much they they should be making off of each house. Everything is accounted for, and it's yeah. really we don't like to say cut, cookie cutter, but it's what they are. They're really cookie cutter homes. So they can, you know, make building them down to a science. Almost. Yeah. Whereas you have taken the uh, turn as to taking a custom home, applying principles of good um, project management to make it go just as fast and smoothly as a spec home. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, basically. <laughs> now, um, how long has Wellwood Master Home, sorry, Wellwood Homes Master Builder been in business for? Uh, we've been in business for 10 years. Excellent. So yeah. for the 10 years you've been, uh, did you start out doing customs or did you start on like small rentals? Like how did that happen? Uh, no, I, I started off with a spec home mm -hmm. um, with some business partners and we did that and that went, uh, that went well. That was a great learning experience, you know, for someone that thought they knew everything and mm -hmm. had managed, managed multiple homes for this other home builder. Uh, it was definitely an eye opener on how how things go. Um, and then, yeah, parted ways with the partners, did a bunch of framing, and then, uh, yeah, then started doing some more customs. Excellent. So tell us how that first one went. Like, 
What were some of the pitfalls or what, what were the biggest takeaways from that first experience? The biggest takeaways? Yeah. Uh, well, one of the, first off, I partnered with two people, mm -hmm. two other people. So there was one who was mostly, hand, or was all hands-on. Okay. Um, I realized I know a lot more hands-on than, uh, than he did. <laughs> and then okay. the other one was uh, the banking and financial. And uh, he's now a home builder, builds great homes. Um, you know, unfortunately, I think I did my job a little too well. I showed him how to do it. And he thought, <laughs> you know what, I'm going to do this on my own for the next one. <laughs> Trained the competition. Yeah, I trained the competition. I trained him well, and now he does a lot of infill homes. Um, yeah, no, it, I, I didn't realize how much power and how much changes a client can have until um, you give them the option to make all the changes and the power. So <laughs> that, that business partner had all the, uh, all the authority on what was going to happen, and we changed a few times. So Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So what is the biggest problem that you solve for people? Uh, the biggest problem that we solve, we help them get custom homes at, um, at an affordable price. Like we help them, we help work within their budget to get them what they want. Uh, we help them manage what they want. Mm -hmm. we, we help involve the client in the building process so that they can feel, they can feel at the end of the day that they know they know what's in their home. They're not worried, you know, did I get a lemon? Is this, you know, one of those homes that's going to fall down? You know, is it, is it insulated with empty Tim Hortons cups or something <laughs> like that? Um, they're involved in the process. At the end of the day, they know they're living in a quality home because they saw it go up firsthand. Excellent. And so we're involved in it. Perfect. So they get more involvement in the process. Yeah. They get more say in what happens. And because of your expert skill and management and great checklists, yeah. they get the, the project built faster than even sometimes they would get done by a, a, a large um, spec home builder. Yeah, that is one thing that, uh, that I was able to take away is, um, is how to build a home fast, how to build it. <coughs> Excuse me, because if they're paying, if the homeowner's paying the carrying costs, they don't, want, they don't want it sitting there for 12 months, especially if they're living with their in-laws or they're renting, you know, mm -hmm. it, it all costs money, so they want to be they want, as soon as they decide to go, they want to go. You know, they might drag their feet a little bit to start, yeah. but once, uh, once we put a shovel in the ground, it is go, 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 people want it done. And that's one thing we're able to, uh, we're able to attain. Right, so you're able to answer all our questions, you're able to get the job done quickly, you yeah. can reduce carrying costs because you get it done faster. Yes. And it's just overall a, a better experience because you actually communicate face to face with the with the clients yeah uh, my wife and i we got a spec home uh, in uh, calgary when we lived there and yeah. we didn't even see anybody who built the home yeah we, we couldn't really go in there if we wanted to do anything we had to sneak in and the, really the builder was trying to avoid us at every every turn so that yeah. we couldn't go and make any changes or suggestions it was kind of different <laughs> yeah. So um, that's really good that, that you help people do that. Now, roughly how many homes have you, have you built and how many different projects have you been involved in? Uh, I think over my entire career, um, I've probably, probably managed or been involved in, on the management side, close to 80 homes. Um, Framing-wise, hundreds <laughs> I can <laughs> say I, I couldn't count that many like there's years where we knock off you know one every two weeks for you know five or six years stint there's some years where we have ones that were on the project framing it for three months because it's a monster mm -hmm. and then you know there's obviously the slow years where we're lucky if we knock one out a month mm -hmm. um, so yeah that number that number would be really hard to keep track of fortunately it kind of Blurs it, <laughs> blurs yeah, over. over so yeah, dozens and dozens. This yeah. isn't your first time. No, this is not my first. Not, first not my first rodeo. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now, how many people are are on your team today? Uh, that number changes a lot. A okay. uh, wonderful thing with having framers is sometimes they might not be the most reliable people. So, <laughs> uh, right now we have four solid people on uh, on our staff right now. Um, in the man, like in between management and crew leading. Um, and then I'd say underneath, we've got a handful of, uh, 
laborers and apprentices that uh, that come and go, unfortunately. Yeah, well, that's part of the, the building trades. People got to come in, get their experience, move on to the next one. And yep. uh, some of them are either chasing more experience or chasing more money or what have you. But Yeah, or chasing some day, demons. <laughs> what's that? Or chasing some demons, yeah. Or chasing demons, yeah. That's, yeah. That happens as well in the yeah. building trades for sure. Um, now, is there any specialized training required for team members to be considered for Wellwood Homes Master Builder? Like, let's let's talk about the the entry level people, and then um, more people in the, in the management side of things, learning to project manage. Uh, I wouldn't say there's any specific requirements. Um, I came up with without a lot of the uh, education side. I know there's mm -hmm. different there's different ways to work your way in. You can work your way up through the tools, or you can work your way up through the books. Yeah. Uh, to get to the same spot, um, because I did most of mine through through the tools. Like I do have the, you know, I did go through the courses and a mm -hmm. bunch of the project management mm -hmm. side as well. Um, I lean heavier towards the uh, towards the tools, just because that's mm -hmm. that's the way I did it. Um, so I like to see people that have experience on the tools, where they they know hands on what goes on on the job site. Yeah. Um, I find someone with a really good hands on knowledge. That can wrap their head around um, around management mm -hmm. is an easier person for me to train on how our business runs than someone that's coming up through strictly project management and they have a hard time understanding um, delays on the job site. You know, well, how come this is getting pushed back? You know, how come weather delays it? You know, how come you know how come that electrician didn't show up today? I don't understand. He was scheduled. I'm like, well, yeah, that. <laughs> that sometimes happens. Sometimes people let you down when it comes to scheduling and yeah. you just, you have to be able to roll with it. And I know if you've been hands on and you've been on a construction site, you if you've been on a construction site, you've been on a construction site where someone didn't show up when they were planned, when a delivery didn't arrive, you know, mm -hmm. as per schedule. And you just learn, you learn hands on how to roll with it easier than you do coming up through the books, I believe. So yeah, special requirements, not really. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to be teachable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I don't think, you know, we're specifically unique on that. And the other thing is like you, you train people from within, you don't hire outside talent yeah, I would, managing projects. No, I would much rather train from within. Everyone manages a project differently. Um, I know, I know in the boom, um, site supervisors and project managers would bounce from builder to builder to builder to builder. And you know, they'd do about four, four weeks, four to six weeks mm -hmm. per builder, or depending on however long they needed to get their yeah. bonus, and they would just, they would just fit in. Mm -hmm. um, we're a lot different than that because we're not, we're not uniquely seg um, segregated in that matter, where a, a project manager, manager is not just strictly a project manager, and same thing, a site supervisor is not just strictly a site supervisor, their roles sort of mm -hmm. mingle. So I do prefer to promote from within because then people to understand how I work um, and anyone coming from the outside it's a good learning curve yeah on what their job requirements are so awesome yeah and that's how you're able to build a, such a strong team yes <clears throat> now the next question is what are your plans for growth for Wellwood Homes Master Builder well we plan to grow that's okay. our that's our plan for growth plan for growth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no we'd like to have a I'd like to have a couple more um, on the office side mm -hmm. uh, for project management um, I don't think I would relinquish control of all the projects, but it'd be nice to be able to have a couple people that I was training underneath that could go and inspect the project yeah. at different stages and give me feedback on it. Um, people that I can show how I like to work with clients yeah. so that mm -hmm. they can go. Uh, with that, then we'd be able to handle, I don't know, we would like to do probably 10, 10 to 15 homes a year is our, mm -hmm. our goal. Excellent. So yeah. not trying to take over the world, just trying to make, uh, make building a lot better for uh, the individual and the investor. Yeah, I, I think 10 very nicely, well-built, well-constructed homes with uh, very happy clients is a, is a great, to great goal for, yeah. for a year. Yeah, no, that is for sure. Yeah. Um, so what's the most rewarding part of your job and what you do? Uh, most rewarding part is at the end of the day, mm -hmm. um, looking at what we've built, looking at what we've accomplished, um, checking things off my checklist. <laughs> <laughs> the satisfaction yeah, the of satisfaction of checking it off <laughs> is, is looking at the checklist and going, you know, plumbing rough in, done, you know, mm -hmm. or we're ready for insulation, we're ready for boarding, and then, 
you know, showing up the next day and seeing, you know, the skeleton of the house covered in drywall and, and seeing how it's, you know, how it went from either an ugly condemned knockdown <laughs> or, you know, just an empty, an empty space, an empty field and an acreage to, you know, you get the foundation, you get the framing, you start, you know, siding starts to go up, you start to see some color, you start to see some, some definition. Like that, that's the most rewarding part of seeing all the different stages go yeah. through, so. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for sharing that with us. Andrew, and learning a little bit more about Wellwood Homes Master Builder. And if you guys are interested in pursuing building a home or you have questions about how you can get started with Wellwood Homes Master Builder, just visit the website at wellwoodhomesmasterbuilt.com and you can get in touch with Andrew there and he will be glad to answer any of your questions and set up a meeting and uh, see what the possibilities are with uh, building a forever home or an investment property. Yes. And that's all we've got for today. So we'll see you guys next time.